Hey guys, it's Alluring Simmer here, back with another sweep build. But before I get started, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these speed builds. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you want to see more videos like this. And feel free to leave a comment down below for suggestions for future speed builds, any challenges you guys want to see me do, and also ideas for let's plays because I definitely want to start some gameplay hopefully next month. But now let's just get into the build which I decided to build a bakery today and I was trying to figure out where I want to place it in the world. Um, I feel like sometimes it's my hardest struggle figuring out where to build it even though when you download these builds you can place it wherever you want. But I usually build it in a certain area and then kind of fit the aesthetic to kind of match the vibe of the area that I place it in um, just so it makes sense. So for this build I decided to place it in the university world and originally when I was making it, I was like, oh, I'm just going to make a cute little bakery. It's kind of like in the town. Uh, but then I decided to make it actually like a university, like cafe slash bakery. So then I added in some of the spirit posters and some of the school colors so that I kind of like match the vibes. Um, I remember when I used to... Uh, like well when I was in university I loved like going to Starbucks and stuff obviously it's not necessarily the exact same vibe that I was going for with this build but it's like definitely there's definitely always like a cafe or like some sort of like coffee place that like university students like to go and like sit and study so I thought it would be a fun idea to add that into the sims um for this um for this build, I decided to have a staff room and a bathroom. I tend to put that into all of my community lots just because I think it? it's important to have in community lots. Because um, sometimes if you send your sim to a lot and there's no bathroom or something, it's kind of frustrating to have to like send them back home or like cheat their needs in order to like get them <laughs> to like, get their needs up. So I always try to make sure to remember a bathroom and like trying to figure out a way to implement something that like will fulfill all of your sims needs in one space um so here is me trying to figure out the front uh counter where you would like order your food um the color of this changes like five times i swear i just could not figure out what exactly i wanted to do and you'll see I do settle on a color at the end of this, but that ends up changing later on because I decided to do it in the colors of the school, if that makes sense. So here's me trying to fit these things into the shelves and they were kind of like, um, like gl not glitching, glitch is not the word I'm looking for, but they're kind of like blending in with the, with the cabinets and I was like, it's sort of floating. It's either gonna be floating or it's gonna be meshed with the cabinets. So I just decided to have it like kind of like sunken in a little bit. And then I ended up changing these cabinets in the long run and like putting the stuff on the counters anyway. So all of this kind of ends up being for naught, but that's okay. Um, I tried to add in a lot of like random clutter items like spices and stuff, but since it's meant to be a bakery, you can just kind of pretend they're like little sprinkles and things to add onto like the cakes and like desserts um maybe there's spices like cinnamon and stuff to add to the drinks because I added a little coffee maker in afterwards um it's not meant to be like a huge chain cafe slash bakery it's just meant to be like a small little local one for the university campus um so there's me changing the color I went from black to yellow to blue and then later you'll see the final color that I settled on. Um, I also couldn't figure out what kind of style I wanted to go for. So originally I wanted to do like a cute like pastel bakery. But then I thought it wouldn't really fit in the university campus. I feel like that would be more like just a local bakery or something that you would find. Maybe in like uh, Brindleton Bay or something like that. Um, so then I ended up going for the blue because I felt like it added that pop of color to like make it more interesting but it was still like a dark blue so it was somewhat <laughs> neutral. Um, and then I added some shelves in so I could put the items on and it just looked a lot better in my opinion because the items weren't cl clipping. <laughs> they weren't clipping through the shelves. Um, and then here's me just trying to figure out like little clutter items that would make sense to have in this kind of build. 
Um, and then I put some on the other side as well, like little spice racks and stuff. But again, you can kind of just use your imagination to pretend they're like things that you'd put on the desserts or on the drinks. Or like maybe you would have condiments if they sell like little sandwiches or something and people want to add stuff to their food. Um, I ended up using these salt and pepper shakers as just like decor. I made them all the same color <laughs> and they're just meant to be like, I don't know, little decor pieces. They don't even, they wouldn't even have to be like functional, not that they are. Um, and then I was trying to struggle with like the wall color. I ended up keeping it this brown, like beige, brown beige-ish color, just cause I felt like the neutral tone kind of worked with like the pops of color that came from like the counters and the chairs and tables that you'll see later on. I added in a cash register on either side of this little bouquet. So, um, your Sims can actually use this as a functional bakery. But afterwards, I was thinking if you wanted to use this and have it kind of run itself, you could just, and you have get to work, um, you can just add the waiter station and the host station and then turn it into a restaurant and you can add a menu and then your Sims can just go there and like order food and, you know, you have a place for them to hang out where you don't have to actually like do the work of having someone own the bakery. <laughs> um, here's where I add in the curtains. And this is where I started to come up with like the idea of having a theme for this build, like a colored theme. And I was like, oh, I want the color to like represent like the school. But then I was thinking in the game, there's like two, there's like two spirit squads or like two um, mascots. And then I think one, like the colors of the mascot is like red and yellow. And the other one is like green and yellow, something like that. So I ended up settling for the red one. So we changed all the curtains to red and that's when I decided on the color scheme for the entire um, bakery. So I did a lot of like red um, and then I ended up changing the tables to yellow so that it wasn't like super in your face, but it also had both the, the colors to represent the school. Um, and I just thought it fit really well since I put it into the university world. Um, here I'm just trying to like uh, organize what organize the space in the back room and also like fill in all the little decor pieces that are needed to fill in the wall space because um, I just wanted to have it like I don't know I just wanted it to feel like you're on a university campus like it has like little posters for like events that are happening and stuff like the spirit banner um, and I just think it worked really well. The only thing that kind of <laughs> annoyed me a little bit was because the colors are red and yellow, I was like, I don't want it to feel like you're at McDonald's, but I think I managed to do that successfully because of the decor and like clutter pieces that are in between. So you can still tell that it's like a bakery slash cafe, even though it has <laughs> the colors of a fast food restaurant. Um, and then I really liked how I did the menu. I have like the chalkboard where they have like the scores for a team and then the two smaller chalkboards have the actual menu on it. Um, and yeah, then I worked on the bathroom. I just have like a really small bathroom. Um, if I placed this on a bigger lot, I might've added a few more like stalls or something. But if this is not enough, you could always edit it to have like three stalls as opposed to just having one like bigger bathroom. Um, and then the other room over there is meant to be like a little staff room. So there's just a little couch area that you'll see and then a table and then a place to like store their stuff in the lockers. So your Sims will be able to pretty much fill all their needs on this lot. I think the only one that they might not really be able to do is like sleep, but technically they can sleep in the chairs and the couch. So realistically they can come here and fulfill all their needs. I definitely would add some lot traits to this in hindsight. It's already up on the gallery if you want to download it. My origin ID is a learning simmer. But I would add lot traits to like improve their homework skill. Not skill, but like make it so that they can do um, homework and like faster. And just add anything that would help them with like studying and stuff. So that it just adds that extra benefit of going there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We're going to have screenshots at the end uh, of the build. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you want to see more videos like this. And again, leave a comment down below what other future builds you want to see. And also tell me what your favorite part of this build was. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye guys.